Hello, this is Kyra and Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for The Collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have Leo in the fifth house. What is this? This is the North Node here. Hmm. This looks like somebody about to be shining really soon. Like somebody's getting... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It looks like somebody is reaching a level of like stardom or someone is shining very brightly. Leo is at home in the fifth house. But for this North Node to be here, it tells me that this is where your soul is headed. This is where you are going. This is where... It must be very soon for somebody to come out like this. Like someone's about to be in their, prof their profession. Okay, what is this? Almost dropped it. The Ten of Knives. The Ten of Knives. This feels like, to me, somebody's leaving. I mean, if you're going towards a new creative endeavor, that means you're leaving something behind. You could be leaving behind some type of establishment because I see this. It looks like a church, but there's somebody all stabbed up at the, um, at the front of the church. I'm just saying. Um, this could have been somebody that lied. This could have been just disagreement. This could have been the end of a contract. This could have been the end of dealing with certain things. It's, it could be any type of end, okay? So yeah, Leo in the fifth house. And you got the north node there, okay? I'm going to put these actually right here. Let's see. We have the Eight of Wands here. If this is not something that has happened, this is happening right now. It really looks like someone sent some energy your way or something, like something to destroy you. Or someone tried to destroy you in some kind of way. We have judgment here. Okay, so they judged you. They judge what you're doing or where you're headed or how you're shining or something like that. They judge some type of creative endeavor that you're headed towards here. Okay. And then you have the Knight of Wands. It's like, to me, it looks like somebody gave you the fuel. Like someone's judgment and someone's... Whatever this Ten of Knives, whatever that is, it lit a fire under someone's ass, okay? And it made somebody more so pursue what it is like if this is that kind of energy like if somebody tell you you can't do it some people will spend their whole life showing them that yes i can okay it really looks like somebody tried to stop you or they try to exert their force on you you have the knight of cups here on this side i mean at the bottom of the deck it's like i feel like somebody still moved forward with an open heart I feel like somebody is not damaged in the way where they wanted you to be damaged okay I feel like you still have your head high with whatever you're doing however they try to knock you however they try to make you feel about what it is that you do you have the three of sword here this is what they wanted you to feel they wanted you to, I, I just said that too this is how they wanted you to feel they wanted you to feel just like that. Like it's never going to happen. They wanted you to feel down. You got the six of sword here. It really, honestly, it looks like they were only successful in bringing something upon themselves. Okay. Because all you did. Oh, and then you got the three. I didn't even see this. Then you have the three of pentacles here. It's like all you did was leave and go build. It's like you took them three swords and you took you took the three swords and you made them into three pentacles. 
Okay, it's the three of swords, then the six of swords, then the three of pentacles. So I really feel like somebody just outsmarted somebody. Like somebody over. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to shuffle, but I guess I was. We got the two of wands here. So it's like you're going to give somebody else this love or you're going for another love offer or there's love offers coming towards you. It's like you didn't let somebody destroy you. Somebody tried to shoot energy at you to take you down. Okay? They tried to judge you. They tried to destroy you here. Okay? They tried to outsmart you in some kind of way. And what you did was you took them swords and you used them to create you used it to create what it is that you wanted to build okay you used it to create a structure or possibly everybody seeing you as this knight of wands here that has created something with this three of pentacles like you made something solid like where somebody said you couldn't make something solid with this three of of swords here you did it with the three of pentacles okay and you moved away this ten of knives is really them that's really them. That's what's really happening to them right now. You done moved away from them Ten of Knives. You in the Six of Sword energy here. You moved away from the Ten of Sword. Okay? And you move towards what it is that makes you shine. Leo in the Fifth House. That's home. That's what you move towards. This is North Node energy. If you are not there, this is where you are headed. This is absolutely where you are headed. Let me see. I don't know if these are love offers that are coming in. I don't know if this is you moving on with a solid heart. Or you're moving on to offer somebody else this cup of love. Okay. But definitely in like a planning motion here. Then you got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles underneath the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands. It's like they could not... Okay, what's that Beyonce song? You, you won't break my soul? Ten of Pentacles here. Wealth. Okay. Mercury and Virgo energy here. This is like... This is healing in Earth. This is being able to move throughout Earth. This is having wealth even on the inside. Like somebody tried to make you feel unpretty. Is that proper to say? Unpretty? I think so. Somebody just, I just don't want to say ugly. Somebody just tried to make you feel, they just tried to make you feel like you're not worth nothing. Even though you were at Ten of Pentacles the whole time. Like somebody tried to knock you down. Even when, I don't know if they could see your beauty or I don't know if your beauty was so blinding that for them, they just hated it. And they never, it's like they just didn't want you to shine. They just didn't want you to seem valuable. They didn't want you to know how valuable you are. They tried to knock you down all the way to the ground. And all you did was take everything they tried to do and you you built something with it. You literally built something with what they tried to do to you. Okay? You literally brought out your value here. Then you have the Queen of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles, which is wealth. Okay? And then you have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This is a natural creator. This is a woman right here. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles, she can cook. I don't care what nobody say. When it comes to anything that has to do with the earth, the Queen of Pentacles can cook. The Queen of Pentacles could be a good seamstress. The Queen of Pentacles can do your hair. The Queen of Pentacles can make you a medicine. The Queen of Pentacles, anything that has to do with earth energy, that's the Queen of Pentacles right there. Okay. It's like you could take you could take anything. One time I can't even I once heard somebody say she could take a pair of panties and make them taste good. Like cooking them. She could cook a pair of panties. That's what I should have said. She could cook a pair of panties and make them taste good. Okay? That's the kind of energy. So if you could if you could cook a pair of panties and make them taste good, I'm pretty sure whoever you are, you could flip somebody's idea of you and what they thought and how they was trying to put you down and this energy they was trying to shoot at you, you could flip that into something beautiful. And that's what you did. Queen of Pentacles out here. That's what you did. 
with the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is in her element when she and she got the Ten of Pentacles. Oh yes, Queen of Pentacles about to do some damage. Okay, you got strength here. Okay, and this deck is called Fortitude. That strength in the face of adversity. Okay, it's like you put you literally put it in somebody's face. This thing that you created, this Three of Pentacles that you created, is in somebody's face. Because it's strength in the face of adversity. And this is definitely adversity over here. They tried to sell you short. They tried to tell you you wasn't valuable when you, when you was a whole ten of pentacles. You was a whole ten of pentacles and a queen of pentacles, okay? You was somebody that you probably had talents inside that were just lying dormant. You probably had talents inside that they didn't even see. Because they don't know nothing about this earth energy. They don't know nothing about this queen of pentacles, okay? You don't know the queen of... You don't know food... Until you taste the Queen of Pentacles food. So let's say this was about food. And they was like, oh, she can't cook. He can't cook. That shit is probably nasty. Oh, this is da 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 Okay? And then Queen of Pentacles was like, okay, you think I can't cook? Whole time, you a whole chef. Okay? But they didn't know that. So you went up there and you whipped up something. They probably didn't even eat it. You probably sat it in front of everybody. Okay? You sat this meal in front of everybody. And everybody ate it. And they was like, mmm. Oh, my God. Like, this is, oh, damn. I can't even believe the Queen of Pentacles done whipped it up like that. This person that is being judged right here with this Ten of um, this ten of Sword, this person probably didn't even eat it. They probably, you know what? I'm lying. They probably ate it. And they still was like, mmm. It's like a three. It's like a two. You know, it ain't all that. You got the Magician here. Okay? I really think it's just a matter of time. Oh, that one to slide to the side. What's that? The Six of Cups. Yeah, you're bringing in a relationship. You're bringing in some past life relationship. But I don't want to... I don't really want to say it's past life. I really just want to say that it's a deep relationship. I really just want to say that it's something that may feel familiar to your soul. Okay? It just feels familiar. Because not every past life relationship was bad, right? Some past life relationship, you just have to get to a certain level before they can come back in. And I feel like this is what's happening right now. I feel like whatever this was that happened, it brought a fire out of you. Okay? It brought a fire out of you. And actually, it elevated you. It helped you ascend so that you could... Either get these relationships that are coming towards you, you could get these offers that are coming towards you, or that you could be more, you could be a better, let's say, suitor. You got the star, okay? The first card out here. First card, the star, okay? I just, it is what it is. Okay? And that's what they don't that's what they don't understand about it. That's what they don't understand about this creation. That's what they don't understand about people. That's what they don't understand about God's people. It just is what it is. When somebody has that talent, when somebody has that gift, it is what it is. You can sit there and deny it all you want. But it's not gonna change the fact that the Queen of Pentacles can whip up a pair of panties and make them taste like cake. It's not gonna change that. Okay? It's not gonna change the fact that Queen of Pentacles food is good. It's good. Like, which it's good. Like, how you gonna, you know? <laughs> Man. I mean, I guess you can't be everybody's cup of tea, right? But they can they could have walked away. They didn't have to send this kind of energy. They didn't have to be like that. They didn't have to be mean and rude and try to destroy you if they didn't like you. They didn't have to do that, but they chose to do it. Because you're a whole ten of pentacles and they don't like that. They don't like how much you shine. Okay, what we got out here, we got strength out here. So we got Leo, we got Leo right here, and we got Leo over here in the dice. Okay, we have Virgo, and we have Gemini here. That's all I'm seeing so far. Oh, we got Aquarius, we got Scorpio out here. It's like you changed. You got the star out here and the death card. You changed. When I tell you, they did not know you was a cook. They didn't know you cook it up like that. Okay. They didn't know. Oh, my God. Is that a Destiny's Child song? Oh, Charlie's Angels. Okay. That must have been a sign for somebody. That must have been a message for somebody because, yeah. They didn't know you cook it down like that. Okay. Wish you said, Charlie, how your angels get down like that? Please don't make me go through the whole song. 
Just know that somebody changed. Somebody changed. They did not know you was like that. They didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. Okay? But now they do know. And now it's too late. Okay? Now it's too late. They already got judgment here. Judgment on top of the Ten of Swords. You got the Six of Pentacles here. It looks like somebody want to... Somebody now they want to give and receive. Now they want to be up in your space. Now they want to share and, you know, they want to be fair and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's too late. Once the death is here, it don't go back to the way it was. The past is over. Once the death card is here, the past is over. Well, who who you who you thought the Queen of Pentacles was? That's your fault. You should have tasted the Queen of Pentacles food before you judged. That's what should have happened. And this is just an analogy, okay? I'm just keeping with the food analogy. But really, to be honest, it's anything. It's anything that somebody tried to downplay you. Okay, when you was a whole ten of pentacles, the world card is here. Closing it out, shutting it down. It's too late. It's too late. This is even a sign of somebody that may have breadcrumbed, breadcrumbed you in some kind of way. Okay, and now they don't want to breadcrumb you no more because they see your power. They see your light. They see you shining. Okay, I hope they see you closing the door too. Huh. Speaking of, I hope they see it. You got the four cups here. I guess they still don't get it. Because they're not looking at that cup. They're not looking at it. They don't see it. Okay? They're not aware. They don't get what happened. They don't know why. They're looking all confused. What I do? What happened? I didn't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. No. Somebody is aware, though. Somebody trying to act like they're not aware. You got the Queen of Pentacles again. You see, the Queen of Pentacles gets it. Okay? The Queen of Pentacles definitely gets it. The Queen of Pentacles tried. That's what I'm seeing here. The Queen of Pentacles tried to keep this friendship and keep it balanced and all that because they're looking at this Three of Cups. But you got this Fourth Cup out here, and I think that's this Knight of Cups. I think it's somebody that's going... I think you earned a new relationship or a new love or you earned what you were going after you earned it okay just very abundant here like seriously and then you got the four of wands you earned it i don't care what it is it's some type of partnership some type of relationship i don't know if it's a marriage i don't know if it's you opening a business i don't know what it is but you've definitely come into your energy okay with the four of wands this is that kind of energy you can't nobody shake you can't nobody tell you you're not great. Can't nobody tell you you're not a Ten of Pentacles and you better remember. Okay? Because it probably won't be the first and it probably won't be the last person to hate. I'm just saying. Matter of fact, let me get something under this. Oh, I'm about to say let me get something under the world card and we got the tower. Look like a whole world is about to be destroyed. Okay? Look like some something is about to go down. Like, this is that kind of energy when you leave a job and then the whole building collapse. That's what it sounds like. That's what it looked like. I'm just saying. Let me get an angel message here. Because this is where you're headed. This is where you're going. Creativity. Fun. Okay? Being open. Having a good time. Being vulnerable. Like in a, in a fun, loving way. You know? Not people that get all offended and shit. Get all up in their feelings and shit. That's not where you're headed. That's not where you're headed. And I'm reading it like that because this five, this is the fifth house and it's Leo. Leo in the fifth house is at home. There's, okay, Leo in the fifth house is that kind of energy. At its best is, it's never at a low. Okay, not, not at a low. It might go from medium to high, but this is an energy that is just pure fun, pure childlike, pure loving, pure happy for you and happy for themselves and proud of others. That's high energy when we're talking about Leo, okay? Low energy of Leo can be very jealous, okay? Can be very closed off, don't want you to shine too bright, okay? Don't want you to shine at all. And I feel like that's where somebody is leaving, okay? And I don't blame you. Don't nobody want to deal with that. People trying to dim your light. That's all this was. It's somebody trying to dim your light. And you had to show them no. You're not going to dim my light. Clear, cancel, and release. You're not going to dim my light. Block, block. You see the hater block? 
<laughs> she like block block. Like get out of here with that. At the bottom you got mother father God. Okay, connecting back to source. And that's the sun right there. Okay? And that's also the ruling planet of Leo. Somebody needs to connect back to source cuz if this is about a Leo, this is a sad Leo. And if if you are the Leo that's going up, you need to connect back to source. You need to connect back to your happiness. You need to connect back to what makes you happy, what drives you, what makes you feel good, what makes you smile, okay? Thoughts of pleasure. That's where you need to be. You don't need to be around people trying to dim your light. You need to be around people that support you and, and lift you up and you lift them up. And that's that, okay? I'm going to leave it right there. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.